Like the title says, this is for Ajishis only. Ajishi is a Korean man that's like uh, 40s to 50s. Malin Anju. Malin means dried. Anju means like uh, bar snacks. I don't know when you would ever make this, to be honest, but uh, maybe if you find a Korean dude that's in need, you know, he's feeling down and out, you want to pick him up, make him this uh, Korean shakatori, if I could call it that, and uh, I think they'll really appreciate it. So just watch uh, and enjoy. Bloop. We're gonna pretend that this is a charcuterie board. Is that how you pronounce that? Charcuterie? Or is it uh, charcuterie? <laughs> and first thing on the menu is this dried squid. It's called marin, which means dried. Ojingo, squid. And they just cleaned it and then just let it dry in the natural sun. It usually comes with this popsicle stick here. Yeah, don't lick it. <laughs> it keeps it from shrinking. Look, they have the beak, just tear that off. Separate the legs from the, the tube. For the body all right guys and then i'm gonna just cut around here you can just tear this off like that and you can eat it straight away but it's like very chewy so i have this neat trick that i'm going to show you on how to make this a little bit more tender we're going to take out a large frying pan so that octopus could fit right in then we're going to put in around two cups of water a tablespoon of sugar into that water bring it up to boil while it's coming up to boil we're going to make slits here so that the octopus doesn't shrink up, you know, it's very shy. I bet this recipe is a bit strange, huh? All right, so we have slits all the way in. I think that butane grill, all of the fires on the outside, and that part's the least hot. Anyway, all right, drop it inside, as well as the dried legs. All right, turn off the heat, turn it off. You know, it's gonna wrinkle up like that, but you can uh, soak it down a little bit, and then just let it sit in there for 10 minutes. Take it out onto a paper towel, Pat it down, let's get the water off this. And guys, remember that there is this spine here, and now it's very easy to tear. You can just come across with your hands like that, turn it into strips. And same thing for the legs as well. You can just pull this apart, it's soft now. For that dried squid jerky, you put a little bit of mayonnaise here, and all right, you just put a dash of soy sauce around it. Then slice up some chili peppers. This is some chongyang, but you can use jalapeno. And oof, this is gonna be the perfect dip. Put that on the side. Put our squid strips on one side. Still have an empty board here. We got some more to go. Second most popular dried anju for ajushis are ji po. This one has chi in it. Forget about this. Just call it ji uh, po. So what is this? It's file fish. Thread sail file fish to be exact. So if you take a look, it's another jerky. They get like a large circular mold and they cut very thin slices of fillet off the fish and they stack it on each other like that. And then once it fits the entire circular mold, they go put it out to dry in the sun and you get this. And the preferred way of eating this one is to actually lightly grill it. So if you have one of these butane gas or over your stove, what you'll do, you turn on the heat and we'll just lay it over the top. All right. And we want to smoke it like that yes careful it doesn't burn too much and guys take a look that's it whoa whoa, whoa too close whoa and actually if you come to korea and you go to watch a baseball game this is one of the more popular treats as well and the good thing about korean baseball you can bring your own food inside that's the way it should be i think the last dodgers game i went to it was like nine ten dollars for a dodger dog my goodness expensive all right so what does this one taste like well almost kind of like a honey glaze but it's hard to describe it, it doesn't really taste like fish this one's a favorite among a lot, lot of people all right jipo good and next on the list this is actually not a korean anju at all but i tasted it at a suit ship and it was so good that i think i will show you this let's take some olives you can use black or the green one we want to get all the water out Make sure they're dry. 11 or 12 little beauties here. Crack one egg in here. And yes, I think you'll probably figure it out from the three plates. We're gonna fry olives. Breadcrumbs here. Put a little bit of flour here. You can add some garlic powder and some chili powder. That makes it taste even better. But I'm gonna just go plain. And guys, what if we put some cream cheese in here? Ooh, not a bad idea. 
Right, shake off all the excess as much as possible. Mix this in with your hands and then into the breadcrumbs. Actually, you know what? Let's double coat this. Put it back in the egg wash. And right, you can see the difference. The olive surface is just too, uh, too slippery. So I think we gotta put that extra layer on. I'll finish this rest here and I'll meet you at the fryer. And then the part I hate about frying, you have to use so much oil. All right, I think that should be good enough. We can just roll them. Let's get it hot. I'm tilting it, I wouldn't recommend it. Woo, this looks good. Guys, does that look good or what? Oh my gosh. Kind of look like tater tots. Ah, it exploded. I knew it was gonna explode. And guys, woo -hoo. This is what I like. Come into my belly. Don't be surprised, guys. It's gonna be nuts with anchovies. That's right. No, no, no. This is not food for your cat. You know, though, I had a friend from Helsinki visit Seoul. He actually really liked the anchovies. I thought it was pretty good. I like it myself. Mmm. Mmm. It's very... Meow. It's basic etiquette. When you're with people that are very much older than you, you want to make them feel young again. So you get <laughs> Korean snacks, something sweet, my favorite. Banana kick, that sweetness here. That Korean kwaja and our uh, charcuterie is finished. Ajishi, happiness level. 10 out of 10. But oh my, I almost forgot. Some extra cold beer. There you go. This is, after all, Anju. Oh my god. Gumbe? Oh, I gotta show you. For this mayo soy sauce dip, just get one of the squid strips and just mix in a little bit. Oh! If you don't have good teeth, if your kids have a wiggly tooth, you give it some ojinga. It's dry squid. Bloop! Come right out. Got some fried olives and my banana cake. I'm an open book, guys. What y'all want to talk about? Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion. One, two.